Uh, the time of concentration, Tc, is defined as the time needed for water to travel from what we call the most hydraulically distant point to a drainage area. Okay. From the most hydraulically distant point. Hydraulically most distant, not necessarily um, physically most distant. Tc, time of concentration we're talking about. Uh, the phrase hydraulically most distant point is important because it means the longest path in terms of time. Okay. Um, not frequently seen, but uh, Tc is equal to the length of the flow path divided by the flow velocity. Um, the PE, not frequently seen in real life, but the PE exam likes this uh, because it's an easy calculation, L over V. It gives you the TC, or they'll just give you the TC. There are various methods um, in the morning exam. I don't think you'll see it. We, we use this uh, NRCS method of T sheet plus T shallow plus T channel. Um, and there's uh, worksheets on how to uh, calculate this, just for those of you who are taking water resources in the afternoon. Um, sheet flow. It, we look at the first 100 feet. Essentially what we're saying is that when the water hits the ground, the first 100 feet, it's um, sheet flown. It's not all together yet. And by once it hits the end of that first 100 feet, it starts to, um, uh, a bunch of droplets of water start to come together. And we call, which we call shallow concentrated flow. Okay. The water's all together. Um, maybe flowing along a gutter line or through the woods, right? Almost looking like a channel, but it's not in a defined channel, okay? And then at some point, it actually hits a defined channel, and we have what's called time in the channel. And there's different ways to calculate these three. Let me scroll up. Okay, once it finally hits a channel, actually in channel flow and then um, what we say is that it starts to flow a lot faster so T channel um, is usually pretty quick uh, conceptually I don't love this phrase longer flow length means longer TC again that's not necessarily true um, so just put like a little asterisk or something next to that um, if you have a uh, T, your T channel could be thousands of feet. You could have thousands of feet um, in a channel, but the water starting at the beginning of the channel to the end, um, the time it takes uh, could be pretty quick, even though it's thousands of feet. Whereas you could have um, only a couple hundred feet of water traveling through the woods in the same drainage basin. And traveling through the woods, it has to meander around trees and brush and it's, it takes a lot longer to get to your design point. Uh, this is definitely true. Rougher surfaces have longer TC. Okay. If you have water on pavement versus water on heavy brush, um, the water on pavement is going to move a lot quicker, so you'll have a shorter TC. And flatter surfaces slash channels have a longer TC. If it's steeper, the water is going to get to your design point faster. Shorter TC results in higher rainfall intensity for a given design storm. As engineers, we don't like short TCs, we like long TCs.